we, there was a launch on Saturday of a new cafe, a new uh, meeting space for the left. It was like a new political hub. And our next speaker, who better uh, was it to uh, do the launch for them and to cut the ribbon on it? So he might share the same first name as a certain Labour Prime Minister. Um, but n again, he shares none of the policies. Uh, he's a Prime Minister we unfortunately never had. Please give a warm welcome for Tony Benn. Comrades, this, is, uh, this has been a very remarkable meeting and I've listened to all the speeches with great interest and I think I can not wrong, wrong in saying that what this meeting is about and what the TUC demonstration on the 20th of October about is about defending our interests against those who want to deny them. This is a war for survival. And it's a war that's been fought over many centuries in Britain, not a new war, it's a very old war between the rich who've run the country for years, they own the land, they own the factories, they own the banks, they own the newspapers, and the common people who create the nation's wealth. And my thought comes back to me as I look at this meeting. <coughs> when I was 18 in 1944, I was in a troop ship going to South Africa and we had a meeting on war aims because in wartime everybody wanted to know what to do at the end of the war and i was sent off to see the officer commanding troops and said we'd like to have a meeting on war aims and he said no politics in it and i said oh no and of course we had the most wonderful <laughs> political meeting i've ever attended but there was a lad got up and he said something i've never forgotten he said in the 1930s we had mass unemployment but he said, we don't have any unemployment in wartime. He said, if you can have full employment killing Germans, why can't you have full employment building schools, building hospitals, recruiting teachers, recruiting nurses? <coughs> and that was how we built the welfare state, the determination to use the same intensity of effort on meeting the needs of peace that you did meet the needs of war. And that's all gone now, and we're back to wars and then the cuts made in benefit to pay for the wars and I suppose an even bigger one than the one that, ran, that uh, Lindsay mentioned was we're spending a hundred billion pounds on a new generation of nuclear weapons and people are having their benefits cut will be, no one will tell them but it's true that they're spending them, they've taken their money in order to build new weapons of war and that cannot be right, it's, it's morally wrong and that's what we'll be saying on the 20th of October and we'll be saying it in the names of the trade union movement that we built up in this country and the rights of people to vote because what battles there were to win those two rights we must never forget in 1830 which is not so very long ago only 5% of the people in Britain had the vote and they were all men and the Tory party was opposed to extending the vote beyond the 5% who had it. The Tory party was opposed to giving women the vote because they recognised that democracy was a very, very powerful weapon for reform. If you can't afford anything, you can always use your vote to buy collectively with your vote what you can't afford with your wallet. And that was how the welfare state was built up. That's how we got the National Health Service, the greatest, most socialist and the most popular thing we ever did. And similarly, uh, the uh, <coughs> Tory party over the years bitterly opposed to trade unionism. And it was a criminal offence once to join a trade union. And there were some famous group of people known as the Toll Puddle Martyrs who formed a trade union and were sent to Australia as uh, prisoners of war and they stuck to their guns and we got the trade union movement and the trade union movement plus the popular vote gave us the Labour Party and the Labour Party is a voice for working people and now we have differences in the party because uh, the arguments are very intense but that's what the Labour Party is about it is a party based on trade unionism and giving trade unionists and those they represent a voice in Parliament to build the welfare services that we need. 
and that's what we're defending on the 20th of October. What will come out of that, I don't know, but I feel sure that the trade union movement will be very aware of the fact that it is being given, or is taking a lead on the 20th of October, which you would expect the Labour Party to support, and I'm sure we will. But the main thing is that everybody here tonight who came to listen to the speeches realise the importance of what we're doing together. All the arguments we've heard tonight should be spread to those you know, talked about at work, written about in letters to newspapers, and should form the basis of a principled opposition to policies which are grossly unfair and which will actually make the economic situation worse. Because if you lay off people, they can't spend money. And if you can't spend money, then you've got more unemployed. Then you cut the benefit on the unemployed, and then you get more unemployed. And we have a very powerful economic argument, quite apart from arguments on the grounds of human justice, and we're putting it forward on the streets of Britain on the 20th of October, and tonight is a preparation for that. So thank you for coming. I wish you all success. And I believe that just as in the past, if you campaign strongly enough, you do win. We shall win, but it depends on our determination, and that is something that depends upon all of us. So thank you for coming to the meeting. All right, guys. <laughs>